Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Name Weather Rate's most accurate forecast since 2008. Good evening on this Friday. It is a Friday, even though it looks a little bit more like a Monday out here in Dallas. Plenty of clouds outside. It's 71, but it feels like 76 because humidity is still up for now. Anyway, as we move to radar, you can see a little shower moving into the area. So if you are in the area of Harvey's Lake, Hayes Corner, Dallas, for example, Back Mountain, you might want to grab an umbrella, but this is a small shower, just like a lot of the ones we're seeing, just the remnants of the cold front where the big stuff you can see is down two hours south. That is moving out, leaving a lot of blank space here on that radar. That's good news. It means not only are we drying out, we're cooling off as well. Temperatures right now getting down into the 70s. A couple spots like Mount Pocono getting a head start in the 60s. Wait till you see what's happening overnight. We're going to cool down way more than that. Most of us getting into the 50s tonight. 55 in Mount Pocono, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, 56, 58 in Hazleton, Williamsport, one of the warmer spots at 61. So despite the fact that we'll see a shower or two, it's not a bad night to open up the windows. It is going to be very comfortable because not only are temperatures going to dip, humidity is as well. Here's a little sneak peek, a little hint of what tomorrow is going to look like. My Eat Outside Index, I'm giving it a 5 because if you like fall weather, that's a great day for you. It's going to be cloudy. We'll see a few showers further south, so the southern tier and maybe the Susquehanna Valley as well. Just a few very small pop-up showers. Again, the remnants of that cold front moving south, but it's much less humid and it is going to cool off quite a bit. But we'll look at dew points first because I have to tell you, I am just unbelievably excited about this. We've seen dew point temperatures in the 60s and 70s for weeks now. The 50s look good, but how about the 40s? Look at this across the board. This is such a drier day than we've had in a very long time. So something to look forward to. Now, if you are going out to Fun Fest, I think it makes it a little bit more fun. Maybe you bring a light jacket. The high in Hazleton, 68 tomorrow. Again, cooler, less humid, a couple of showers, definitely possible, but Hazleton, not really one of those spots. Just looking at some clouds, really. Here are your highs across the region. Again, this is that cooler feel. We're going to see a lot of spots really struggling to get out of the 70s. Williamsport is not one of them, neither is Sealands Grove. But look at Hazleton, Pottsville, even Mount Pocono at 66 tomorrow. That's weather, sweater weather, folks. Pumpkin spice weather, if you will. Tonight, we're at 56. A lot of us in the mid 50s, just like in Wilkes Barre, Scranton. A couple showers possible, but we really do start to dry out. Tomorrow, more of the same. We're in the mid-70s in our warmest spots, the cooler spots like the mountains in the mid-60s. Then there's the rest of the week. Sunday and Monday, we are looking at some heavier rain, but we're also looking at a big cool down when it comes to temperatures. Drier, cooler air is going to start to move its way in before we get that moisture back. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, a couple showers in the mix, and we do heat back up into the 80s. But if I were you, I would download the Iowa as well. App. Now, that way you're prepared for rain, shine, storms, sleet, hail, snow, pretty much anything. We've got it covered and here. And we've had, a, we were talking before about how this summer, be, between the uh, heat waves, the tornado, flooding all across the area, just it's been brutal. In it many has. Ways. And honestly, yeah. Andy, I'm really looking forward to fall. So it's not permanent, but this weekend's kind of a nice start. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Christina. Well,